What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Rex back with another YouTube video on Diablo Quattro. I think I said that right. Welcome back to Diablo 4, man. Um this beta has been very interesting. Uh it has shown a lot of the way the game is going to play early on and also it has showed the limitations of farming at this level uh you are definitely weaker in this uh, server slam than you were in the closed betas that they had um it's really hard to do a lot of damage everyone feels weaker but i wanted to come to you with the build that i came up with um with some legendaries i i found um after beating a sh shavo like once and I may, if i beat a shavo a couple more times i can fill out the rest of my legendary slots like my helmet and my um and my accessories but i think that this is the best build that i could come up with at the time it's not the same build that i had when i had all the legendaries and stuff that build was super op and i can't use that build anymore um as well if you watch my old my last video uh, about Diablo 4, you know I didn't have a minion build, and this time also there's no minions involved. Also, I feel vindicated because I said I wasn't going to go any minions with my Necromancer, and I feel vindicated because minions suck on Necromancer now. So, all right, let's get into the build. Um, we're going to look at the, our skills first. So the skills that we're using are Bone Prison, a uh, Blood Mist, Hemorrhage, and Blood Lance. Now I think last bit of this was the blood bills weren't like effective besides corp explosion, and this build doesn't use corp explosion uh, really at all. It is there, but it's not the paint primary source of damage, and you don't really need it in this build. Okay, and this build is specifically for, to kill bosses. This is a really single target focused build. Um, in packs of mobs, you will have a you will struggle a little bit, but um, I mean. With the way we build Hemorrhage, Hemorrhage will explode and does AoE damage. So, like, overall, like, this is really good against single targets and, like, mediocre versus um, AoEs. But I think you have to choose one or the other, like, whether you want to do AoE to, like, kill a whole bunch of mobs or a single target versus, versus a boss. Because we're so weak and our legendaries aren't as strong, you just have to choose one or the other. And I chose boss damage because of Shava, and then I've been struggling with bosses. Also, I just uploaded, um... Core Dragon was cleaning it. I had a completely different build, but yeah, we struggled with those bosses with four man group because it was level 30 content. So, uh, let's get into the actual, uh, let's get into the Skeleton Warriors. So, I'm using um, the Skirmishers, and then I'm also using your critical strike chances increase by 5%, but you're no longer use Skeleton Warriors. Um, this isn't really the best, but it's better than nothing, and it's 5%. I would much rather have this 15% increase to shadow damage, but I'm not using shadow right now. And then for the Skeleton Mages, I have 15 increased damage to vulnerable enemies, but you can no longer erase um, Skeleton Mages. Um, we're going to get vulnerable a lot, so it's great to have the increased damage. Alright, then let's go to our abilities. For our abilities, we're going to have 2 points to Hemorrhage. And then we're going to have one in Enhanced Hemorrhage. And then another one in Accolade Hemorrhage. Um, this is for the attack speed so we can build up our Essence back faster. And um, and then this is Enhanced Hemorrhage. After picking up a Blood Orb, your, your next Hemorrhage also deals damage to enemies around your target. Grants additional, two additional Essence per enemy hit. This is just helps build Essence Generation. And then this is going to give us a little bit of AoE. And then we're going to go down to Blood Lance. Um, these basically, uh, you throw... A, a, a lance in a, uh, in a in a linear path, and um, and it sticks in an enemy for three seconds, dealing 442 damage uh, to all to all to the enemy and all other uh, lanced enemies. All right, and then this one gives us um, it pierces through enemies, and then this one gives us uh, after casting blood lance eight times, we get overpowered, which is basically like a uh, true damage a little bit. If you play League of Legends, it deals damage based on the sum of your current life and fortified health, which is really good because we're not going to be really losing a lot of life in, in this build. And then after that, we're going to go down here and we're going to go to get Blood Mist that makes us invulnerable. Um, enhanced Blood Mist. Um, cast a skill. Casting a skill that overpowers reduces Blood Mist by two seconds. So anytime we get a uh, Blood Lance overpower, we get we reduce Blood uh, Mist by two seconds. And then also, Blood Mist leaves behind a corpse every one second. We want this because of our legendary. 
and then we're going to take Bone Prison. This is really good at traps enemies. Um, we gain essence back really fast, and then it also makes it vulnerable with the Bone Prison. Then after that, what we're going to do is we're going to take three um, in Death Reach. This is um, 12 increased damage to distance enemies because you're going to be far away for most of the time. Um, and that's it. Like, that's all the points we have. We don't have any additional points. We have 21 points spent. Um, we have no other points. We have we have nothing else to spend. So this is um, as good as we're going to get with all our skills. And then what we're, then we're going to what we're going to do now is look at our legendaries. This is where we're going to get most of our damage. And I have two overpowers on my um on my uh, scythe. So the bone blood the blood seekers dragon spawn. Um, it's a legendary two hundred scythe. I made this legendary. It used to be rare. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have eighteen plus at all stats, which is really good. Um, and then blood lance deals times thirty percent increased damage to its primary target per lance enemy. So which is, which is really really good. And then what we're gonna do right here, blood mist triggers corpse explosion. Um, which is really good. Um, then this one's just uh, damaging elite immigrants through a barrier, which is really good. And then right here, when Blood Lance hits an enemy that is already lanced, it has 20% increased f chance to fire Blood Lance at a nearby enemy, which is really good. You fire more Blood Lances. And this one doesn't matter. This is just a random legendary I picked up. Um, it has increased skeleton mages, but like, it, like it, we don't have any um, minions. So hopefully I'll find another legendary to put on this or something like that. But it has increased stats, so it's really good. And then our attack power is 403, armor 1452, and life 320. And what I want to do right now is really quick is show out the build. And I'll show you what the build can do, how much damage you can do with vulnerable, without vulnerable. Um, we're going to go through this whole, I don't know how long this dungeon is, actually. We're going to go through, and hopefully it's not too long of a dungeon, and we're going to just show like how well this does. Hopefully we can get to a boss, and I can show you how this does against bosses, too. Uh, yeah, so let's just go ahead and go through. One shot with Blood Lance. One shot, one shot, one shot. Yeah, Blood Lance basically one shots everybody. And then it's like two taps with Hemorrhage to um, kill him. So it's really, really strong. Oh. Blood Lance, Blood Lance, Blood Lance. Just, you see that 1,000 damage with the overpower. And what you're gonna do is just heal back up. I mean, uh, get your essence back. And then one, two, like they, they just die extremely fast. And then right now you can see next hemorrhage hits area of effect. So this is this is gonna be AOE. You see that little explosion right there? That's what that is. We just do incredible damage. And then you can see like what, what it's like when we do AOE. We're gonna trap them all in bone prison. Then we're going to do corpse explosion, kill him, and that's the way that you can um, AOE with your hemorrhage and AOE with your uh, blood mist, and that way you could just like your AOE is good too. It's not the best, but it does the job, right? Like your single target is your biggest damage source, but you, you you're not a you're not a, a, a like a wimp when it comes to AOE either. So we're going to pull up this hemorrhage right here, the blood orb right there, and it does AOE. And we're just, I'm just playing at a slower rate right now just to show y'all everything. But we're going to start picking up the pace. <clears throat> the overpower does a lot of damage. Uh, we we'll kill things pretty fast. Oh, let's go right here and go into this door. And you don't really lose health like that in uh, with this build because you heal with blood mist. Okay. And this this build isn't as strong as um as the old builds from the old beta, but like we all know that we're all level 20 so it's not going to be anything crazy where like everything just dies immediately besides bosses bosses melt really fast with this build um but it but it does a lot of damage and you and you don't have to try a lot like it's it's one of the it's a build where it's strong on its own and you don't have to like focus and i think this build would be good for a lot of people that like are complaining that um 
they just feel weak. Like, I don't feel weak with this bill. I don't feel weak at all with this bill. Like, everything, like, when I use Bloodlands, everything pretty much dies. All right, we're, now we're going to go back to the door. Where is it all over there? We don't need to kill these dudes. We have uh, everything that we need in terms of stats. Legendaries really drop in here, so it's no point of just killing everything. Let's go. Let's get uh, to the boss as fast as possible. <clears throat> this dungeon seems uh, fairly small. Travel to the hunted cell block. Okay. Hopefully, I don't. This isn't one of the ones. Oh, and there it is. Slay all enemies. This is one of the worst ones, cause bro, it takes forever. Especially because we're no longer like super strong. Luckily, I can one shot things pretty, fairly easily with Blood Lance. Yeah, things pretty, die pretty fast with Blood Lance. As long as you have Essence, you can one shot everything. And like that, that, that was the um, the Hemorrhage AoE, which is really nice. Everything just dies in one hit with Blood Lance. And let's build, let's like drag them all here, build them all up, trap it. And he just dies pretty simple, pretty quick. And I know I'm doing a lot of damage because I've played with other people. And I've seen other people play this game um, on this beta. And they, de they don't nearly qu um, kill these things as fast as I do. So I know I'm doing a lot of damage right now. The highest I've seen um, on one of my damage numbers is uh, 1,800. Which is really high, I think, for the beta. Like, like I did a Blood Lance hit with a Vulnerable and a crit, and it was like 1,800 damage. Like, it, it, it smacks. Don't think that would make this build like go crazy if Blood Lance like um went through people. If Blood Lance went through enemies, this would be like this would be like the perfect build. And, and because we get this 15% increase to um critical uh to uh, vulnerable, like we just do so much damage. Uh, right there, you see like those like uh 1100 right there with that. For for uh twenty, and, and trust me, like with this, oh my God, there's just so many enemies, bro. Like, why did they add in this into the like? Oh my lord. Oh no, cooldown cost. Nice, nice, nice. We just blood lance it up. I don't know why they put this um like kill all enemies it's such a stupid objective bro because they're all so spread out man that's one thing i dislike about um like i feel like if you're gonna have this type of objective have it later on into the game when you're strong enough to actually complete the objective relatively fast because at this level like you're just it just it's just boring bro like nobody finds this fun or interesting like, there's way other things, that way, way better things you can do. Like, and I have to look all over for these dudes. Like, as a new player, I've never played Diablo uh, 1, 2, or 3. I'm enjoying the game, and I enjoyed it immensely during the, um, during the closed uh, betas. But right now, it's like, some of the things, like, decision-wise, like, I just don't get why they did it. Shit. Oh, missed. Um, eleven hundred. Jesus, bro, look at how many enemies there still are. And I'm one shot and everything, but like again, Lance doesn't travel through anything, so you have to individually do that. That's 1,300 damage right there. You got to individually kill everything. No. 
besides when you get blood miss um bone prison into uh hemorrhage like they had to do a lot of aoe but bro i shouldn't be f like, look how many enemies there are let's um let's get them all up come on come on there we go and blood mist still does a lot of damage like for aoe but that's not our main source of damage and we're not relying on it with bosses or anything like that which is really good and that's the last enemy Oh my god, and I have to defeat the Undying. Look how fast he just melts. He just melted. And we're done. Look how fast he melted. Yeah, and that was all just uh vulnerable into Blood Lance. They melt pretty fast. So yeah, guys. Uh that's my Blood Lance Blood Necro build. Um Once this beta ends, I'm gonna do a um a video about my thoughts of Diablo 4, whether or not I'm getting it, um, things I think they can improve on, things that I like as a new player, like the potential I see in this game, um, how excited I am. So yeah, look forward to that video. Um, thank you all for uh, watching my videos, whoever you are. Thank you all for like giving me support. Uh, as you can see, uh, I'm in a new area. I got a new background here because I moved. Uh, so I'm tr going to try to produce more content. There's no longer going to be people running around in the background, loud noises that you can hear. You're only going to be able to hear my voice. Um, I finally got my own little area of privately for myself. So thank you all for supporting me for so long. I'm going to try to make more content. I'm currently doing a podcast with uh, Dustin, the Honestly Anxious podcast. We had to stop production on that for a little while while I moved and did all of that. So we're going to be coming back very soon with a new episode. Um, we're going to be doing that every week. Uh, so thank you all for watching this video. Love you. Rex out.